Hey, I'm Brian Cohen of Beco Knives. In this video, I'm going to show you the ultra simple way to find the exact degree bevel you need to grind your knives at. I'm super excited, so let's jump into it. Ever since I released the video showing off the TR Maker Bevel Jig and File Guide, I've been getting questions about how it is that I figure out exactly what my bevel degree is, and in this video I will show you how to do that. It does involve some trigonometry, and I know that sounds scary, but there's an app to do all of the math for you so you won't actually have to do it yourself. Let's go ahead and jump into the ideas behind what it is that you're doing so that you can understand what you need to do before you need to do it. So you should be thinking of this as looking point on just like this. You see how I have the knife? You're looking at it point on just like this. So right down here is the width of your knife. This is super exaggerated, but I just want to show you. Um, so this is the width and this is the height. So right here is the point of the knife. Down here is the spine. Right here is the front face of your knife. This is, this is going to be the bevel that you see right here. So as you can see, that makes a triangle and this is a 90 degree angle right here. So that means that this will be 90 degrees no matter what. Up here is the bevel, the degree that you need to find. So here's the thing that you need to figure out. The two measurements on your calipers that you need to find, let me go ahead and zero that out. You wanna make sure that you're in millimeters. Uh, millimeters just makes it so that you will get nice round numbers and really simple numbers to, to uh, go to. That's just my preferred, you don't have to do it that way, but that's just how I do it. Let me go ahead and zero that out. So you need to figure out exactly how thick it is. So this one is five millimeters thick. That is very thick, but you know, it is what it is. So that five millimeters is from the, the in, entire width of the spine. So from here to here, we got five millimeters. But what we're trying to find is just this half of the bevel. So you divide that in half and you get 2.5. Now remember that number because that is going to be this angle right here, or this side right here is gonna be 2.5. The next one that you're gonna be able to know is this line right here. So that is going to be your bevel height that you're looking for. The simplest way to figure that out, get that back down to zero, zero it out. And then what you're going to do is, of course your bevel isn't already going to be there, but I chose to do this on one that I've already beveled so that you can clearly see where it's going to be. So next you're going to figure out exactly how deep you want your bevel. And this one turns out to be right around 23 millimeters. Let's just round that to 23 millimeters, make that nice round numbers. So there's 23 millimeters, and you're going to wanna to mark that all the way across so you give yourself a nice line. And normally once I scratch a line on there, I cover it in Sharpie so I can really see that line. Um, so this, this line right here is 23 millimeters. Now that's specific to this knife. Your knife is of course going to be different, so make the measurements on your own. So now you have 2.5 and 3, 33 millimeters with a 90 degree right there in the middle. Now if you know trigonometry, all you need to know is a side, an angle, and a side, and all of a sudden you're going to be able to figure out exactly what each side and each angle is going to be, and up here is going to be the angle that you know. Now, if you know trigonometry, have fun, do your math right here. I'll give you a second to do your math. Now, for the rest of us, we have an app to simplify this, and let me go ahead and tell you all about that. The app that I use is called Trig Solver. I know that there's other apps out there that will do the exact same thing, so if you prefer other apps, please go by all means, use those apps. But I prefer the one in the app store called Trig Solver. Um, the, the icon looks a lot like this without these two boxes. So it's literally just this triangle with the right angles marked right here in the center. So to fill in what you're going to need, and of course, use your own measurements. But for this knife right here, as we talked about, it's got a 2.5 degree bevel. So you type in 2.5 degrees down here. 
and ju that's just 2.5. And over here we have 33 millimeters. Oh shoot, 23 millimeters. 23. Oops. So we have the 2.5 down here and the 23 up here. This automatically has the 90 degree angle right here. So that is 90, but we won't have to type any of that in. And then you push enter right down here at the bottom. That will do the calculations and it comes up with a 0 0.6. Oh, excuse me. I'm wrong. A, a 6.2034. So 6.2034. I normally just round all of this part down and now you can see that you're going to have a 6.2 degree bevel. 6.2 is going to be the, the angle that you're going to set your TR maker, bevel jig, your file guide or whatever file guide you have. What you're going to do is you're going to take, let me find my tool real quick. You're going to find your angle finder and you're going to turn it on and, oh, no, not reverse it. And what you're going to do is you're going to get it to 90 degrees. So that 90 degrees will be zero because your, your bevel jig is already at a 90 degree angle. So you're going to get it to 6.2 degree bevels or 6.2 degrees past that. So you're going to get it to 96 point two and try to dial it in the best you can so 96.2 now this is the angle that you're going to set your bevel jig up to that's super simple you just set, i already have a knife in here so i'm not actually going to dial it to it but you just set this up in there and then you just keep moving it until you can't see light through that spot right there and you just keep moving it and moving it until you find that 6.3 degrees until both of this edge and this edge right here set up flush to the bevel jig or file guide system that you have. And all of a sudden, all you have to do is attach your knife in there and you'll be set to go. This is a really simple and easy way to set up your bevel jig and file guide to get a really precise bevel. So 6.2, you're not just getting to the, the nearest number, but you're getting to a 0.2. So you're getting to that hundredth or that tenth degree. That is going to be a really precise bevel for you. I hope you guys learned something today. Thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and check out my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok pages. That's where you'll see a lot of my finished knives and you'll be able to really follow along with my story. If you want a knife made by me for you, please go ahead and contact me on Facebook or Instagram. Send me a direct message. That's where we will have a conversation back and forth and we'll design a perfect knife for you and I'll make it by hand. Hey, I might end up using this system right here to make it for you. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.